Well, I hope everybody's doing okay out there. Um, I just wanted to shoot it. It's just a quick little video just to drop in and say hi. I'm just kind of bored. It's Thursday afternoon, April 30th, uh, 2020. Um, still working from home. Um, I really, really gotten to like that a lot, actually. Uh, I was talking to my boss the other day, and actually I think he feels the same way too, that uh, I'd be perfectly fine with working from home uh, here on out, uh, you know, if we could, something that we could swing, but, you know, who knows, you know, um, I know a lot of the people in the office are eager to go back, and I know there are some positions up there where um, uh, it is easier to be at the office, you know, a lot of people still use a lot of paper files and things like that, but uh, in my opinion, though, I think the vast majority of us are getting her job done, um, getting our job done and getting it well, you know. A uh, little inconvenience here and there, but nothing nothing major. I think it more than wakes up for it, uh, or makes up for it, rather. Uh, being able to be at home and be around uh, these little guys. Um, but uh, anyway, um, I've got a couple of new subscribers. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, this video today is just basically me sitting here doing uh, some rambling or musings, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, anyway, I hope everybody is... Um, you know, staying safe out there in this uh, pandemic thing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk of states opening back up again. Uh, you know, like I said, people at my job are wanting people to, they're, well, they're wanting to go back to work. And I'm like, has, is there a vaccine I didn't know about? Uh, has there been some type of defined treatment on this stuff that I didn't know about? Uh, what has changed in the six or seven weeks that we've been home? Um, there's more cases than ever. Um, I mean, I know that the curve is flattening somewhat, uh, but still, it's still a, a dangerous situation. So, um, either way, um, we'll see what happens. You know, if I have to go back, I got to go back. That's part of it. But I tell you, this is really, um, this time at home has really shown me that, um, like, I think it probably has a lot of people that, um, it would be nice. It would be nice if this is something we could do all the time. And it's not all this. It's not all sitting out in my backyard. I mean, I'm spending, you know, uh, eight, nine hours a day sitting in front of my computer inside, um, checking emails, just doing, trying to sell stuff, you know, doing the same thing I would do sitting in my office. So um, it's not all, um, what's the old phrase I'm looking for? It's not a bowl of cherries, but there's a better one than that. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. It was kind of the southern variant. Well, it's not. It's not a a bag of chips with a coke. I mean, it, it is work. It it is it is work when we're when we're sitting here working at home. But uh, anyway, um, I'm trying to think of some topics to do on some next videos. I haven't done any really EDC stuff uh, in a while, so I might do a couple of things on that. But that is just so overloaded. Everybody does EDC. As I'm sure you can tell from my last couple of videos, you know, I've um, uh, really been into uh, radios again. Uh, shortwave radios, mostly listen to shortwave, listen to AM bands at night, things like that. That's an interesting little hobby. Um, you know, I've got about um, maybe a dozen different interests that um, dogs just heard somebody and are running inside. I, I have maybe a dozen different interests throughout my life. You know, I'm almost 50 years old that uh, I cycle through. You know, sometimes it's pool and billiards, sometimes it's uh, knives, edge type of things, EDC stuff, you know, of course, bang, bang items, um, you know, outdoor stuff, radio, um, blacksmithing. I don't know if you guys have seen my old blacksmithing videos, uh, m musical instruments, things like that. I've got to do stuff like that to keep busy. Um, I'd love to retire right now. <laughs> But I can tell you, if I did, it would definitely be a challenge keeping busy because, uh, you know, that's that's something that, uh, you know, my mind always has to have something going on. So, um, but anyway, I hope everybody's being safe out there. I just wanted to shoot a quick one, just drop in and say hi to you guys. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Uh, thanks for the new subscribers I've had here recently. Uh, yeah, and I'll, uh, here in the next couple of days, it's Thursday, so I'll do something over the weekend for sure, or something like that, put up an interesting video or something. Um, you know what I might do is talk about, uh, I do like sentimental stuff. You guys, I don't know if you've seen my video called 
this old knife, but if you haven't, what well, check it out. It's pretty neat. It tells the story of a pocket knife that I've had since I was a kid. Um, and uh, I might do something along the lines of that, or who knows? You know, we'll see what happens. But either way, thanks again. Take care. Oh, yeah. One thing I wanted to add, I just shot that other video. I forgot to mention my awesome haircut that my wife gave me. Check that out. I was bald. Uh, it'll be a week tomorrow. This is six days of growth on my head that she actually finally uh, granted my wish and shaved me bald on top, and I loved it. Uh, the first couple of days afterwards, um, it was kind of rough with the uh, the the bristliness of it uh, coming back. You know, it was catching on my t-shirts and everything else like that. But man, I love it, guys. Let me tell you, if you've never tried it. Try it at least once. You'll like it. So from now on, when she cuts my hair, she's just going to use a nail guard and shear me like a sheep and then let it grow out for two or three weeks and then she'll do it again. Take care.